thousand tongues, Father, we could not praise you enough for your mercy. We could not praise you enough for your grace. We could not praise you enough for your healing power, Lord. You didn't have to do it, but you did. You're the one who has made our crooked places straight and our rough places plain. You're the one who has made a way out of no way. You're the one who has helped us up the rough side of the mountain. And Father, there's nothing for us to do but thank you, but praise you, but worship you. And we thank you for that privilege. We thank you for that honor. And now, Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In the matchless, in the marvelous, in the wonderful name of Jesus, let all the saints of God this Sunday morning say amen and amen. Hallelujah. Our Sunday school promise today is taken from the ninth Psalm and the 10th verse. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Our three points of power for today are remain, rejected, and redemption. And our spiritual foundation focus for today is prayer. Prayer. First of all, remain. Let's review. Let's review our journey so far with the children of Israel as God has brought them through the wilderness. Okay, first thing here. The children of Israel. God brought them out, out of Egypt. And then he allowed them to cross the Red Sea on dry land. He fed them with manna and quail and provided them with water from a rock. He then led them to Mount Sinai to receive the covenant of the Ten Commandments, which would teach them to be the people that God would have them to be. Which brings us to our lesson today. In order to receive the Ten Commandments, Moses had to remain on the mountaintop and meet with God alone. Alone. Moses had to remain, which is our first point of power. He had to remain alone on Mount Sinai for 40 days and for 40 nights while God prepared him to receive the Ten Commandments. Now, as we go on with our lesson, you may want to color this picture of Moses on Mount Sinai. 
instead of worshiping the one true God, the God that brought them out of Egypt, the God who fed them in the wilderness, the God who led them with a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, they rejected God and they decided that they wanted to worship a calf, a statue made out of their melted down jewelry. Have you ever been disobedient? Have you ever known what was the right thing to do, but you decided that you were going to do your things your own way? I know I have. We all have sinned, and we all have fallen short of the glory of God. The children of Israel were not alone. We all sinned. We all have rejected God at one time or another. But thank God he sent us Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Jesus is our salvation today. And I don't know about you, but I love calling on the name of Jesus because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, this I know. Why is 
took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad they pray. Yes, I'm glad they pray. Oh, I'm so glad they pray for me. Oh, somebody pray for me. They had me on their mind. On their mind. Took the time to pray for me. Took the time to pray for me. Well, I'm so glad they pray. I'm just so glad. Yes, I'm glad I'm so glad. I'm so glad they prayed for me. My mother, you know, she prayed for me, for me, and she had me on her mind. On her mind. Took the time to pray for me. Took the time to pray just for me. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad. Yes, I'm, glad she prayed. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. 